run, jump, and trot through water, all while staying graceful and steady for the judges in equestrian challenge. It's more about poise than speed and strength. This morning, Gary's on the go at the Dragon Fire Sport, short, sport Horses. Boy, this is going to be a tough one. For an equestrian dressage competition. All right, Gary, maybe you can do better than I can at this. Uh, no, 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 I definitely can't. I can't. This is so cool, but I, I would love to invite you to come out and see this where I'm standing right here. I'm going to call it a ring because I'm in the middle of the whole thing right here. The horses are coming right by me. I got to introduce you to Earl and uh, Taylor. Good to see you guys. How are you this morning? I'm great. How you are doing you? Good? I'm doing great. Earl, We're doing you? awesome. Thanks for coming. Right. Since I've been out, I've already been getting educated. I've learned so much in the last half hour, 40 minutes or so. And uh, just watching these horses, it's just so neat. All right. So what, what is happening at Dragonfire? That's where we are right now at Dragonfire Farms. And you have a derby uh, days that are coming up. Maybe you can explain whatever the derby days are. Yeah, so at Dragonfire Farm, we do three-day eventing, which is an Olympic sport. Uh, it's like horsey triathlon. Okay. They have three different disciplines they have to learn. And at the Dragonfire Derby Days, we provide a uh, schooling opportunity. People can practice all three disciplines. That's dressage, cross-country, and show jumping. So right now, you're going to be seeing some people uh, practicing their show jumping here in the arena. Yeah, we're seeing a jump there, getting ready to jump, do a little something there. Woo, there you go. That's pretty cool. That's fun. How long is, I mean, obviously this is what you do and you also are an instructor too. How long does it, uh, does it take to kind of get up to speed to be able to do something like this? It, it takes a long time, especially if you're trying to get to the top, uh, you know, elite level of the sport. Um, so people really need opportunities to, you know, start off a little smaller and figure out how to compete. Um, and the Derby Days is a smaller scale version of a big advanced competition. Another big advanced competition. All right, uh, to, going away right there, uh, you know, I should say uh, tootling away from us is Jennifer, and she actually she has a mic on. I don't know if she can hear us from here, too, but she's going to be coming back this way. We, we kind of maybe will say a couple things to her, but that horse is really big, right, Earl? What's up with the size of that horse? Yeah, so that's Cinco. He's a homebred from here at Dragonfire, and he's 17-2 uh, and very good-looking, tall and good-looking. There's so few of us. And <laughs> right? He's heading this way right now, and yeah. Jen's going to tell us a little bit about what she's working on yeah. with her dressage. Jennifer, can you hear us? Yeah. What, are, what are you working on over there? Well, I'm riding dressage right now. It's the first phase of eventing, and it's a lot like figure skating, the first phase where you do a set pattern, and it has to be precise and compliant from the horse. It's actually a lot of times, even though the most boring looking phase, the most difficult because you're riding a very fit horse that's keen to gallop and they're not always wanting to stay quiet and calm for the first phase of dressage. Wow, nice. Very easy. She yeah, makes it look say. easy. It's not that easy. Yeah, she does. She's just cruising around. Eh, da, da, da. I'm like, all right, it doesn't, there's no way it could be that easy. And yeah. it's, it's certainly not. Wow, you know, with the, with the size of that horse. Oh, my goodness. That's beautiful. All right. So when do things get going? They're going to start this weekend, right, Taylor? Yeah, you... they're going to start this Saturday. And we have um, a lot of... Uh, new competitors starting this weekend. Okay. <laughs> And what about the spectators? Can we come out and watch? Absolutely, you can. And and we uh, we have everything from I think we have a five year old competing up till some people that are in their seventies, and that's what's awesome about this yes. sport. Yes, you can do it very young, and you can do it very you never old. stop learning. Yeah, <laughs> and never stop learning. There you go. All right, good. All right, in the nine o'clock hour, are we going to see you jump on a horse, or maybe take one out for us, or something? Uh, sure. Okay, she say absolutely. That's what she does. Okay. All right, I'm going to send it back to you, Richard. This is so neat. I'm with the horses. I mean, and they're not just any horse. These guys are amazing. And what they do is so specific, and it's beautiful to watch the way they get the horses to prance like that. Gary, thank you. Incredible dressage competition going on there. All right.